Welcome back everybody, it's Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator. Following on from the last video, we're doing a series of videos on a room makeover that's going to be a, a game stroke TV room. Now, the last time you saw me, I was priming out all the woodwork using, yeah, Zinza 123. That's the bullseye 123. I've got to be honest, it doesn't always work out, does it? It doesn't always work out. Now, I was using the QT5 HVLP. I was spraying fine, got a bit of a blockage, had a bit of a nightmare, managed to rectify it and clean the blockage out and it started spraying again. But I came in back today and I ran my hand over the woodwork and I'm not kidding. Even though I strained that paint through a little vegetable bag, it wasn't fine enough filtration and There was little bits, little bits still over the woodwork. So what I've had to do today, I've just gone round, fine nibbing it down again with the Gold Flex, Merca Gold Flex, worn 150, and I've got some 240s as well. I nibbed it all down, and I've just, uh, this second, just vacked up using, uh, let me go and get it. I've got it there. The Karcher vacuum cleaner, if you want to know about that, there's a, a video there. But I'm still going to go with HVLP spray and I'm quite happy with that. And you've seen the thumbnail, we're trying Lick Paint out. Lick Pro. Now, a big shout out to the guys at Lick Pro, the guys and girls at Lick Pro. I caught up with them back in November at the painting and decorating show. They knew who I was. I knew of them through a mutual acquaintance. I won't mention any more. It's all to do with brushes. And um, they said, Phil, have you tried our paint? And I went, no, because I don't like how the tins are. Those, yeah, you've seen those tins of Lick paint. And they said, Phil, we've changed. We've got now Lick Pro, which is sold through Screwfix. And you know I like Screwfix. Uh, Lick Paint Pro. It's through Screwfix and they said, we can send you a couple of tins to try. So I've got that paid sponsorship in the corner. I'm not being sponsored. It's just a case that I've got some free try. Um, I've got some free cans of paint to try out, which is quite handy for me because I've got this room to do and I thought it might be an idea to try out their paint on this room. So what I've got at the moment, I've got an eggshell finish. Now this is a 10 to 15% sheen. It's water-based, it's dry, touch dry in about an hour. Recoat time is usual, about two to four hours. And uh, yeah, it's water washable. You can wash your paint, you wash your brush out in the, in the sink. Now you can brush it, you can roll it, and you can spray it. I'm going to be doing it with the QT5 again. I'm going to be mixing the paint up. I will, I'll, I'll see how the paint feels mixing it up and I'll discuss and report back to you. But I will be adding a little bit of water to this just so it sprays a little bit easier. Now that one, two, three primer that I used yesterday is, is call it wazzy. <sighs> I'm allowed to say that, it's quite thin anyway. So I could regulate the application of how much paint was going on and off with the sprayer adjusting it at the end. I want to make sure I've got decent atomization on this. I don't want it going on too thick. If it goes on too thick, it looks a little bit pimply. And it is too, if it is too thick in a bit of a warm room, it can probably dry a little bit. They call it camera finish. Now, if I put a little bit of water to this and see how it goes for that first coat, I will be able to judge and gauge how it's going to be leveling out. And hopefully, fingers crossed, um, this will flow and level out nicely. Now, I don't know whether you saw, the colour I've gone for is black 02. This room is going to go black. We've got a fancy ceiling paper going on and we're going to go black on the walls and black on the woodwork. Now with Lick Paint, this Lick Paint Pro, you can use, let's call it ceiling and wall paint emulsion. You can also use it on your woodwork as well if you wanted. Now the finish I'm going on the walls and the coving, I'm going for a matte finish. Now the matte finish is about a 5% sheen. I didn't want that on the woodwork. I wanted a little bit of a sheen on the woodwork. So what I've gone for on the walls, which will be the next video, 
The walls have got the matte emulsion, which is your 5% sheen, and the woodwork is the uh, eggshell finish, which is the 10 to 15% sheen. It's going to be the same colour. That's why I wanted to get the same colour all the way through, but I didn't want to have a matte finish on the woodwork and vice versa. I didn't want to have an eggshell finish on the walls. So I thought to try them both out, let's go for emulsion on the walls in matte finish and the woodwork's going to be an eggshell finish. I'm hoping the finish will be very similar to Ticarilla's Helmy, uh, Helmy 10, is it? There's uh, an 08, a 10, those sorts of flatter eggshell finishes. It's not a soft sheen, it's more of an eggshell than a, a, a satin finish. So I'm going to get the paint set up. I'm going to have a bit of an experiment with it. I'm going to have a try on, I'll use the bagging on the window and see how it's spraying. I will be using my um, mixing cup again. I'm going to mix up about a litre. A litre will be ample for doing this. The biggest thing, I want to make sure that the radiator is painted nicely, but it will be having two coats. I will be using the first coat as a bit of an experiment and the second coat will play it by ear. If we need to add a bit to it to thicken it up, I will do. If we need a bit more water, I will do. But I am still spraying with a 1.8 needle and hopefully we're all right. So uh, I'm going to move the camera around and I'll speak to you in a, well, a few seconds. I'll blend out and come back to you. We'll see. Right, just before we get spraying, I'll just... <laughs> The mixing pot's there, I've got a link um, below in the description because if anybody wants to know how to mix paint, you can use these mixing pots and tip out accordingly. Add 10%, 20%, 30% as required. So they don't cost very much, they're ideal. Now you're saying pe the paint, we're using Lick Pro. Now I'll just, I'd just like to do a bit of reading. Right, introducing Lick Pro. Formulated especially for the professional decorator. It's got my name written over it. If it says professional decorator, it's got my name written over it. With a range of high quality paints in 127 curated colours. Wondered what that curated word means was. Curated, C-U-R-A-T-E-E-D, right? Um, all of our products are designed for a smooth application to achieve the perfect finish efficiently. We love a smooth finish, all matron. Right, uh, quality paints, uh, design led colours. ProGlick provides the trusted product you want with the colours your client, clients want. Our colour experts carefully curated, uh, curated a range, cura, I can't even say it, focus on me, curated a range of paints, colours, all with their own unique uh, identity, leaving only the best of the best for your client to choose from. We like the best of the best. Yes. Um, our sustainability pledge. Uh, we're committed to being as environmentally responsible as possible with everything we do. All of our paints are water-based with low VOC. We're like a low VOC and arrive in biodegradable bio packaging. That's that. Um, just, just to give you a beef, Read. Um, you can get matte in an eggshell and um, you get two and a half litres and five litre canisters and I've given you all the other information. So that's that. Nice colour card. There's there. With some there as well. And um, shop online at Screw Fix for these. So looking good. All looking good so far. See how we go. Doing a little bit of testing there. Now, when I open the can, and um, oh, I've got to tell me it. When I open the can, it actually feels quite a thick, very viscous paint. Now I tipped, tipped enough out into my pot, and then I added, if I say five to ten percent, it might not be as much as that, but added enough water that when I mixed it up. And you know what I do, I mix it up and then I get it running off the mixing stick back into the paint. It actually flowed nicely into it. It wasn't sitting on the surface. Some might say it's a little bit too thin, 
but I will say I can regulate how much paint I'm going to be putting on. And if it looks like it's a bit thin, I'll just dial it in so there's not so much being put on. This is having two coats. I'm not, I'm not trying to get it covering in one, but it's very dark that is, it's very dark. Now this black that I've gone for, the O2, the black O2, wherever it is, is supposed to have the tinges of red to it. So it's not going to be a pitch black black. There should be some hues in it that actually give it a little bit of warmth if you can get any warmth on a uh, on a black. But we'll see. But I'm going to do exactly what I did yesterday. I'm going to swivel you around. I'm going to get my mask on in a moment. I'm going to do the edges of the door first. Let those just slightly go off. Then I'm going to drop onto this radiator, try and cover as, cover as much of the radiator as I possibly can. I'll probably dial it in slightly so I'm not actually putting too much paint on there because these little fins across the top that I want to make sure that I've actually, oh, that's, the fins I want to make sure that I've got plenty of um, coverage. You know, I don't want to miss any. So I'll do that and then I'll come back, finish off the door, do the skirting boards and uh, Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt and away we go. And then the next video, you'll see me painting the walls black. It's going, to, oh God, it's going to be very dark. It's going to be very, very dark. Thankfully, I've got this fantastic light, link in the description, that is giving me a natural daylight light. Amazon, about 25 quid. There's a link below. So, um, yeah, let's, let's crack on. Get my mask on. Not much overspray, got a nice controller, that makes change. Normally I've got clouds of dust, probably because the room's not really dusty. Right. There's a lot more control with HVLP than there is with airless. Airless, you just bang it on. Now, you could see the way I was doing it. Ideally, I'd like to have gone up and down in one, you know, like one, like I would do with um, airless. But because that pot's quite heavy, you might need two hands with it. And because you're not putting loads of paint on, because I dialed it in slightly, so I'm not blathering it with paint, I could actually go 
up and down do a couple of sweeps in one because it wasn't putting enough well enough it wasn't putting more than let's put it away it wasn't putting on too much paint at a time which was nice so i've actually done that door not textbook because i've gone around the moldings and did the styles and the mullion rail mullion rails the cross rails and things like that but all in all that's not bad as it's drying off, I can see where there's little bits of patches where I've got misses because I've obviously not done a proper 50-50 overlap, not too worried. I'll catch it on the second um, go. But all in all, I'm quite liking how that's spraying. If you saw when I first started doing the frame, I brought the frame in because I got carried away. I thought, oh, let's carry on with this. I was noticing a bit too much paint going on, so I did tweak it slightly to reduce that flow of paint. But that... That's looking really nice. It's got that little bit of a pimple finish to it that when it dries that will flow out. I'm quite happy with how it's looking and blinking neck it's dark and it's black. Right, radiator. The radiator I'm quite liking. If you can just see on certain angles, I've got to get those fins sorted. But what I'll do, once that starts drying off, I'll go with a very narrow fan pattern off that HVL gun and try and get the areas that I can't get when I'm doing my main sweeps because obviously there's only so much time you want to spend in one spot without it gathering up too much paint. But all in all, it's actually going off. It's quite warm in here. I'm quite liking it and never be, never be frightened of going bold with colours and stuff, whether you can call black a colour or not. But I'm not going to subject you to doing the skirting board. I'm going to do that now because I've probably spent 20 minutes talking to you about this paint. But I must say this lip paint so far so good is spraying beautifully. And I can just see it going off on certain areas of the radiator. And it's got a nice sheen level to it. So fingers crossed it's going to look quite um, spectacular. Right, I'll see you in a bit when I've done it. It's been a few hours since last did any filming, a good, oh, must be about four hours. Since then, I've got a second coat on all this woodwork and I'm having second thoughts about the colour scheme because the walls and that coving are going to be the same colour. Have I got it wrong? I'm not sure. But back to this Lick Paint Pro, very impressed with it. It's sprayed beautifully. Uh, second coat. I just added a bit more paint to the pot. I've probably, I'm gonna say, I've probably sprayed the whole lot with an egg cup full, literally, um, not used the litre. But I did add a bit more um, paint to the pot just to top it up so I wasn't running on vapour. Not that I was, but, and added a little bit more water to make it a little bit more flowing, if that makes sense, just so it flowed a bit better. And it's gone on a dream. It sprays, let me just get it. It sprays with that 1.8 needle a dream. Obviously regulate your paint flow as you require and with an HVLP, there's a video there if you want to see, you can alter the fan pattern, but that sprayed a dream. The finish, now it's drying off, I really do like it. It is that 10 to 15% sheen level, which I'm quite happy with in here. <laughs> hopefully, but something I want to just mention. Right, always have a spray mask, clearly. Now, I've done a video on this spray mask before. There's a pre-filter, a main filter, and then a gas filter. Takes the smells out. Let me just show you what, because you change that pre-filter, that's the pre-filter in there, that's the particle filter, and that's the gas filter, all right? Let me just show you what this pre-filter's got on it. That's just with this room, that's all on the outside, not on the inside. That's just with this room, two coats. Now, I didn't have loads of overspray because I've got the air pressure controlled actually at the gun, but that just shows you what that's picking up. If you didn't have a mask on, a proper mask, look what, look what you'd be breathing in. So that's it really. I've done for tonight. I've had a blower heater on so everything's drying off nicely. I've turned the radiator on to two. So hopefully 
that will come on overnight and everything will dry off nicely. The blower heater, I've seen the smart meter, it was going ballistic. Ballistic because we've got a two kilowatt heater going as well. But all in all, I'm liking that black. I'm liking that lick paint. Be very interesting to know what it brushed like, but seeing how it was in the tin, quite thick tropic, quite thick. The, the um, viscosity was quite thick in there. I could imagine that it's actually a nice paint to brush as well. That'll be a future video. We'll use it on Doris the Door and we'll try it out. Um, don't forget that this paint didn't come with an undercoat. I'm taking it itself undercoating, i.e. just go over itself over previous woodwork. You know what I've done on here. I've gave it a grip coat primer over that oil-based previous eggshell and I used the um, Bullseye 123 Plus from Zinza. So I've actually gave it a primer grip coat and then two coats of this eggshell over the top and the finishes, uh, it's, it's very nice. Be very interesting to see what the black emulsion matte paint is like on the walls and I'll probably get on that tomorrow. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's either gonna work or it's not. So see you on the next one.